In this video, we will use SPSS to calculate Cronbach's alpha for the 10-item Rosenberg self-esteem scale. We have data from 62 people who responded to each of these 10 items on a scale between strongly disagree, which was coded as 0, and strongly agree, which was coded as 3. Before we can calculate alpha, we need to make sure that all of the items are scaled in the same direction. And when I say scaled in the same direction, I mean that a higher score on an item should always indicate more of the construct being measured. So in this case, more self-esteem. And if you look at the wording of these 10 items, you can see that currently this would not be the case. Some items are positively worded and higher scores on them indicate more self-esteem. So item one, on the whole I am satisfied with myself, is an example of a positively worded item. Other items, like item 2, which reads at times, I think I am no good at all, are negatively worded. And this means that a higher score on this item actually indicates lower self-esteem. So what we need to do is identify all of the negatively worded items and reverse them, such that if a respondent answered with a 0, we need to convert it to a 3. If they answered with a 1, it needs to be converted to a 2. 2s need to be converted to 1s, and 3s need to be converted to zeros. And I've put an R in parentheses next to the five items which we need to reverse. Now fortunately we don't need to do this manually. We can use transform recode in SPSS to do all of the work. So we'll switch to the data view so we can keep an eye on what happens. Pay attention to participant number one. Currently he or she has scores of three for items two, five and six. And after reversing these will all become zeros. And this person's score of 2 for item 8 will become a 1 after reversing. So in the transform menu, select recode into same variables. Move the items that require reversing into the variables list. And in total there are 5 of them. Item 2, 5, 6, and then 8 and 9. So click old and new values, and as I said previously, what we're going to do is change all of the zeros on these variables into threes, all the ones into twos, all the twos into ones, and all of the threes into zeros. So zero becomes three, one becomes two, two becomes one, and three becomes zero. So click continue, and then click OK. So what we've done now is we have reversed the negatively worded items. We're in a position where we can now calculate Cronbach's alpha for the full 10 item scale. So this is a unidimensional scale, and this means that all 10 items are measuring the same underlying characteristic self-esteem. If it were a multidimensional scale, which is being used to measure several different characteristics, then you would need to repeat the process which we're about to go through for each subscale. So in the Analyze menu, select Scale, and then Reliability Analysis. Now in Reliability Analysis, select all 10 items, and move them across into the Items list. And you can select them all at once by clicking the item at the top of the list, holding the Shift key on your keyboard, and then clicking the item at the bottom. So you need to check that Alpha has been selected in the drop-down model menu, and then click on the Statistics button. Now the important options here are descriptives for item, scale, and scale if item deleted. And if you want means or correlations, then you can select these options as well. So click Continue, and then click OK and your output will appear in the uh, SPSS Statistics Viewer.